Box and Wireless Scotland, the very best of your box and wireless. You're live in Scottish phoning. Good morning. Good morning, Scotty. Good morning. How are you? It's Henry from Hamilton, Scotty. Hen- I haven't spoke for a wee while. Can you turn your radio down, Henry? Just done it. Lovely, lovely. That's better. Good, good. Lovely good. to hear you. Right, Scotty. Back after three months holiday in oh, we, the state. Were you in the big hoose? No, no, Scotty. No. I told you. I'd take my benefits and i save them up. Oh, well, you do? That's like, oh, I wondered if they'd put you in the big hoose if they'd caught you. No, Scotty. Two points, Scotty. Yes. First of all, that Billy Fee Wisher. Yes. What is he like? See if you could see him cut off your head and stuff it up your behind. He would do it. Aye, Scotty. You're right, Scotty. Well, Aye, Scotty. Well, yes, but I mean... He's, he's a sheep. No, no, he's not. He's a sheep. He if you, if you had to suggest to him, jumping off the side of a mountain and say, Aye, Scotty, okay, I'm away, Scotty. You're right, Scotty. He agrees with high intelligence. No, he doesn't. He's just a sheep. Now, second thing. So we're well, calling, are you be calling be... a Billy the Sheep? It's Billy the Sheep, Previsha. <laughs> Why should we be helping out any of these soldiers? They've had full education, full-time employment, the best standard of living they've ever had in their life. They should just take it, accept things have moved on, and accept life the way it is. Give them damn all. Right, so in other words, nothing for the soldiers when they come back from battle? Not a single penny. You think they knew what they were getting into when they went there? Yeah, and half the time it's their own fault anyway for not paying attention. The rest of us have to fend for ourselves is what you're saying? Of course we do. Mmm, I don't think the nation will be too impressed with I'm that. I'm telling sort of you, the nation will be behind me, especially with that halfway. That sheep, Billy the sheep, he used to be bad for a week till he starts thinking for himself. What about the Gurkhas? What about bringing them to Scotland? Off the way, Scotty, you're off your trolley. They had, they had a great time. So Great you, time they've had. That's their times are gone and done. Life so, moves on. So you think even although it's dangerous work, it's great work, the the, the army, the navy and the air force, of and people, people do very well out of the country? Hey, they make a fortune, Scotty, and if they can't invest it and put their money away properly, then that's their fault. They should go out like me, you save your benefits, and then you go away during the cold period, you make the most of it. You both, I mean, do you think you're actually helping the country by saving your benefits and going away during the cold period? Oh, of course I am, Scotty. Of course I am. Right. I rent my house out for three months, and that uses my spending money, and then when I come back, I put a weekly in for this, and a weekly in for that. You know. So you think the soldiers should be doing the same? If you can get away with it, they should. Well, they should, you know, you've got to live in your wits nowadays, Scotty, and these soldiers have had it too good for too long. I shall put this to the nation, but I don't think you'll be too popular for I saying that. I think I will. And see, Scotty, one and, do, and do, do you think this is why people are so slow at donating to good causes like the soldiers? Oh, they've had, of course they have when you see them driving about in their fancy tanks and all that. Well, their armour piercing bullets and all that. They've had it too good for too long, Scotty. Right. Right, and another thing, old age pensioners, pensions should be cut off at 70 years of age. Right, you think we're, we're keeping people too long? Far too long. No pensioners in NHS for MD over the age of 70. Right, 70, so you get your three score years and ten from the country and that's End it. End of story. Now, will you be quite happy to forfeit your benefits when you get to 70? Well, if I make it to 70, I'll phone you back and ask you then. All right, okay. I, I think you do. Thank you do. I think you do. Now, there we are. Uh, there's a, a different point of view to the whole thing. There's a man who thinks that the soldiers should get absolutely no help at all, that the government attitude is quite right. Once they've done their duty, uh, fling them out. That's what he's saying. That's not my words, by the way. But that's what he's saying. He's saying once the soldiers have done their duty, fling them out because the rest of us have to fend for ourselves why should we help our ex-service people it's another way of looking at the thing you tell us what you think 01698 337 107 Henry from Hamilton there Henry's a man who's uh, taken 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 from the country all the time he's been on benefits all his life he saves his benefits up he goes away for a holiday in warmer climes when the cold snap comes in and that's him phoning up uh, after three months to say he's back in the country and he's doing his stuff. Uh, to your telephones, 01698 337 107. I'll speak to you just after this. Box and Wireless Scotland. The very best of your box and wireless.